is my name is Loafer Lord, of course, and welcome to Fallout 4. Today's stream is going to be uh, me playing the new DLC, Far Harbor, uh, over the next uh, couple of hours. So I hope you enjoy it. Without further ado, let's begin this adventure. So I don't know a lot about this DLC. I think. Uh, you're investigating we got a new case while you and nick were out ready to put on the detective hat yeah anyway it, you, you're investigating not like, a disappearance of someone i think it's a little girl i'm not sure but anyway let's hear it tell me more our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the commonwealth kenji nakano nakano huh. that name takes me back hmm my memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Okay, I'm on it. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start. Okay, so let's uh, go to the residence. Where is it? Okay. Oh, it's near the Mercer safe house. Nice. Oh, look at the robo brain. Such a messed up robot in a lot of ways. But cool nevertheless. Fell down the hole. Hey, so it's all the way over here. Drowning. Else. Looking a lot of chip, huh? Thing. 
Ooh, looks like a pretty uh, eerie place around here. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Can't you please? You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Red. I uh, hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick, thank God. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You brought a partner? Good. The more eyes, the better. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry things ended sour. We got out. That's all that mattered. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. Okay, well that gives you a bit of background information on Kenji and Nick's relationship. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm here, to, here help. to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Funny enough, I'm 19 tomorrow. <laughs> That's funny. She's 19. Um, oh, ask money. All right, let's, let's check out if he's got any leads on her. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. Okay, uh, we'll find we'll her. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank Don't you. ask for money and be the a room dick. Is upstairs if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Okay, I can question them further. Let's, let's see what we can get Mrs. out of them. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company and Kenji can be... overprotective. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Okay, so she's holding something back a bit. So uh, let's try persuading her to tell us what's wrong. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but... Now I wonder what she was up to. Okay, 
Uh, let's investigate the boat. Nothing else right now. Oh, I can take this stuff. Nice. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Good thing nobody was near the bomb, otherwise I would have got attacked. <laughs> Oh, this is the boathouse. Coffee cup, I'll take that. Duct tape, silver locket, all useful stuff. Oh, grandfather. My dear Kasumi, if you ever get locked out of the safe, then the answer is here. In the boathouse. Picture where the key is. Love, Grandad. Okay, that's a clue at least. Oh, there's a safe. Military grey duct and the Project Bog. Song. Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but God, where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. They say they're all synths, synthetic people, made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go. To meet these... I, I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Okay, so... Uh, turns out see me... Or at least she thinks she is. As I'm sure you oh, let's know. tell the parents then. I have finished your investigation. Did you find it's anything? I've been pretty terrible. Thanks to the efforts of a few of my I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Maybe your daughter is just confused. Having an identity crisis. Oh God. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, Detective? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. Sure, I'll take it. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. Ooh, 300 bottle caps. Nice. Let's take some uh, sugar bombs. Let's take anything we can get. We might be able to use it later on. So what's brilliant about this game. You can use scrap and all sorts to make useful items. 
swear I just heard a baby then. Oh, it's a cat. Hello, what's your name? Oh, just house cat. Alright. See you, house cat. We're going to Far Harbour. Leave the Commonwealth? Hell yeah, we're going to Far Harbour. Weird. It's steering itself, that's awesome. Goodbye, Commonwealth. I'll miss you. Here we are, Far Harbour. Where's Nick? He's on steering him. Where the hell is he? Well, hopefully he'll, he'll appear soon. Otherwise he looks like I'm on my own. This is really creepy, isn't it? Well, what the hell is that? Completed far from home. I wasn't expecting that, buddy. Shipment's three days out. Wait, that's not one of mine. Jesus, ease up, Alan. We got visitors. Mainlanders ain't nothing but trouble. Put the damn gun down. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? I'm looking for Kasumi. A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets the Okay, so it looks like we're gonna get a taste of monster killing here. One of the new enemies. Where are we going? I can't help defend Sunshine Trading Co-op. I'm in Far Harbour now, what the hell? Oh, these are lights. Okay. Eyes peeled, everyone. Oh, it's something's gonna come at us now. Open the gate. I've got wounded out here. Mariner, there's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Jared. Or what? Gulper? I can't see it. Let's get a closer look. Oh, I see you now. Whoa. Yeah, I like 
nice. Whoa, you could have talked to me. Oh, they're attacking everyone, damn it. Um, what to use? Yeah, this should do the job. Ooh, Ooh that, that actually killed instantly. You got wrecked. I'll take you down, you legendary gulper. Poison resistance. Meat hook. That's one of the new weapons. From what I gather from the trainer. The hell's an angler? Oh. Oh, that is different. Oh, we got slam. Clear. All right. Well done. Open the gate. Deep limited. A lot of stuff these things carry. Oh, let's, let's heal up. Bits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. Ooh, thanks for the caps. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. Ooh. Sounds exciting. Lost your island? You've lost the whole island? Ah, oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. And people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so? It's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. Well, it is pretty impressive she survived. Radioactive fog and those creatures. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee. Now that's enough. <laughs> that preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. Ooh. Okay, the fog's worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do that's happened before. 
Sure, people have theories that children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. So we need to find proof. And what did he do to this preacher? What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Yeah, anyway, back to business. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Um. Yeah, let's, let's learn more about Longfellow. What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. Um, Arcadia? What's the deal there? What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Okay, and thanks for the Thanks help. for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow is at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Need to drown your troubles? Talk to Mitch, the last plank. Okay, so this is this is pretty cool so far. I mean, we've got new monsters, pretty creepy monsters. Oh, we've got optional objectives. All right, let's do the ob optional objectives. Okay. Cassie, <clears throat> you're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, cause this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. Okay, then let's hear about this family. Sounds interesting. I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war, it was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. stranger who's going to help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral fools on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame that. 
Okay, it looks like I'm avenging Petey. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Hey, map updated. Still need to get that other quest from. I don't know what the other bloke's name is. Oh no, the marina. Mariner. That's it. The oh, Mariner. A battery, to be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. I'm the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. Then look at you here. Why do you know? It's nice to meet you first. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Okay. So I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps. I'm a bit short on caps. But I have old Jimmy's shotgun I can give you. Heavens no, he can't use it anymore. Okay. For a new shotgun? I'll help. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we gotta get the power tools. Oh, we'll do the power tool one first. Okay. Ooh, my rad counters. My guard counters going off, but my rads aren't spiking, so. Okay, so there's power tools over here, apparently. Oh no, oh, do it. You're tuned to the Commonwealth's only respite from the tedium and desperation. Okay. I was about to say, that was a bit weird if they're already in town somewhere. Which is Trapper chest piece. Okay, we better take care of these guys actually. Oh, there's one. Just to quit my uh, 
power helmet. For just a little bit more uh, rad resistance. Like that. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I'm definitely going on. Well, I think Sunshine uh, Tiding is going to be is going to be screwed without me. But other than that, I think yeah, everything's all right in the Commonwealth. Here, yeah, there's plenty of problems. I love this eerie fog. It's like John Carpenter film. I'm a wanderer. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the music. I don't think you can. But uh, it's playing the wanderer, the song off the uh, trailer for this. It's a really good song. Oh, National Park H headquarters. How far away am I? Oh, I'm almost there. Ooh, super mutants! I had no idea you guys were going to appear in this. Ow. One more. And you're dead. And you're dead. Oh god, but you're not. useful stuff. Ow. Where the hell are they shooting from? There's one of them. Ooh, they're in his head. Well, it would have been. It, his head would have exploded nine times out of ten. Because he's a super mutant. Where? Around, around. Um... I haven't got time to be fighting super mutants, I've got to find these power tools. Nichols sort out the super mutants eventually. And I heard the news. Now it's playing Roy uh, Brown. Sorry, I need to stop singing along so you, you guys will think I'm insane or something. Oh, four fusion core removed. Don't, I've got plenty of them. So I don't need to worry about it. Yeah, we're here now, thankfully. Right. Uh, Eagles Cove Tannery. Oh, and it's full of ghouls. Ow. Thanks for having my bat, Nick. Sure don't make them like they used to. Nope. Okay, let's get these power tools and get the hell out of here. Yeah. 
I think ghouls are much more terrifying on this than the way in Fallout 3. I mean, Fallout 3, I don't know, I don't know if it's the new design of them or the, the way they act like they're dead when they're not. I don't know, but they're, they're way creepy in the way Fallout 3. Ooh, I'll take that. Vacuum tube, take that, spring and screw. Yep, duct tape, take all that good stuff. Need as much scrap as I can get. For repairs and uh, settlement stuff. I'm missing the bloody power tools. Uh, right here. And that. Oh no, is it a low, is it low down here? Idiot, Alex. Yeah. Ooh. Ow. Ooh, you got a wreck. This guy's gonna take a beating. Nothing out of power on there. I might be getting a load of rad damage. Light bulbs, take that, thank you. Or at least something dressing up like Load of ammo, nice. Crime and good neighbor has a new enemy, it seems. Why would someone don that castle? Your heads up. I'll give this to Nick. What I can do. Because then I won't be over encumbered. He was actually rescued by the army gun toting hero. So I guess if you're out there and thinking about breaking the law, you might want to consider. Clear of good uh, well, I see the one. Or else the shroud might come after you. Ladies. Hey. Every one of you out there. There we go. Like the yeah. Oh! Demon, he's a devil. He's a there we go, you're dead. Oh, I didn't get the power source either. He's a demon. There I go, singing again. Yeah, I missed it. Oh, at least it loaded quick, that's good. Oh, there we go. Okay, now let's get back to Marina. Uh, hello, Machete Mike. Can I help you? I've been casing those ghouls for weeks. Waiting for an opening. Then you dive in and choppy chop, bang, bang, and the whole lot of them dead. You even know what you got right there? A premium set of Pelman's power tools. I remember commercials for Pelman's tools. Expensive stuff, the top of the line. What the hell's a commercial? <laughs> it don't matter. Of course, there's no one. Marina sent you, didn't she? 
goddamn Mitch and his big mouth. No matter what she's offering, it's nothing. Serious builders were given arm for them tools. I'll pay you 2,000 caps right Whoa, now. Whoa, right that's now. a lot of caps. Uh, well, let's try and get a speech success for the XP. Tools in a condition like this. I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to betray Mariner. 2750. Say yes now before I change my mind. I don't know. I'm going to save it here. And if uh, the shotgun is better than the 2750 caps, I'm not going to reload it. I'll pass on the offer. I ain't hanging around forever. Walk away from this and you'll regret it. Hey, at least Valentine likes it. Thanks, Nick. You've made me feel a lot better for rejecting those caps. Okay. Oh, gone the wrong quest. There you go. Far Harbour. Use time alone. Hey, there you are, hey, Marin. You been to the tannery? You find my tools yet? Here you go. A fair bit of luck running into you. Here's your reward. Well earned. And now to work on the hull. Well, I only got 450 caps, but. Oh, wait, what shotgun did she give me now? Oh no, no! I thought it was going to be a special shotgun. Oh, not screw it. No, I'm, I'm betraying her. Sorry, sorry, guys. But no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I thought it was going to be a special shotgun. It's only an automatic one. That's that's. Nick's going to hate me though. That's a shame. That is a lot of caps. We have a deal. Here you go, just like we promised. Ha! I got myself some Pelmans. How much? Have I, how many caps have I got now? Seven thousand six hundred twenty-nine. Oh no! But I failed that. Oh no. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to. You have to uh, scream over. Screw that bloke over. Reject. I ain't hanging around forever. Walk blah blah blah. <laughs> blah blah blah. Okay. I don't like final objectives. 
Unless it's a Minutemen one because they're annoying as hell. <laughs> oh, is that the new armour? That looks sweet. Protection against both ballistic and energy attacks. And he's only suppressed by power armour. I'm definitely going to get me a set of that. Hey, you going to ruin it? You find my tools yet? Here are your tools. A fair bit of luck running into you. And now to work. Where's the weapon bench up in Brighton? The last plank. Nope. Please sell guns. No, I don't think it's around here. No, okay, you know. Let's do that other quest. Right. Cliff's Edge Hotel. Optional, help the marina again, oh. Oh. you missed that shot, there we go. That's a toilet. <laughs> uh, feral. There it is. Oh, nice shot, Nate. No cap sash, no.
Bring it on. I can take it. I hope you can, mate. I hope you can. I hope you can. Take it off. Oh. oh, God, that's a knee. Ask for more money. Oh, no, just happy to help. I wasn't looking to get paid. I'm just happy to help you out. You're a good person. I can see that. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. Oh, I'm sorry, it's my sympathy. Sorry. You must have been very fond of him. Everybody was. Little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life. Working the land and not causing anyone. Steel beams, a fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shot. You can take out that shell backed devil. It'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been. Well, this fog crawler sounds like an interesting monster. That fog crawler is going to pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit. Every day, I'm in the Don't talk to Berth. She's crazy. Uh, I think I'll go into the um, last plank and do that. Meet, uh, talk to Longman. And then uh, we'll do his quest, and then we'll do that frog for all the killing one. If you need a room, see Mitch. There you are, Captain old Abraham Longest fellow. Couldn't get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty. <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Okay, let's just equip them just to make sure we get that speech success. Three, there we go. Day tripper. to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Follow me. Hell yeah. 
Ooh. Well, this nice your arm got a retinue. Okay, alright. I thought he was going to say something important. Oh well. Let's head out of town. A old long fellow no bombs about to come out. It's a bit of a hike. You might want to take this for the road. I lost my arm. But it'll help. Why This guy certainly knows what he's about. Here's the mountain trail. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. Nice. Game trails crisscross the road. So don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. Very good to know. Um, okay. What well, was we'll keeps stopping? Six is monsters or something. Oh, yeah. A vicious wolf. Ooh. That was nasty. Oh, God, I didn't. Ah. Oh. I was tempting to search that wolf. That was tough again. Hopefully that's the last time I do it. This, uh, this stream. Where is it? When I was a young lad, no higher than your knee. The whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable. They started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. Something else here. Oh god. Legendary Gulper. Oh. It's alright, we've fought these before. Oh god, he's, he's damaged one of my arms. There he goes. Death for that. They can grow two, three times the size of a man. 
Sorry about that, everybody uh, had some technical issues there with my controller. Well, I'm over encumbered as well, Nick. Hey, take a look. God, where did the dumb fella go this one? Shit going on. And when you're as big as Maybell is, there's a whole lot of shit going on. He's down there, isn't he? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no wonder. Walk in the park. There we go. He's over here now. God, child of the atom. Stringing one more soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those too? <laughs> Shoot her already. Let's just settle down, okay? You're right, waste of ammo. You're not selling Ooh. this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. Right, tell me about Adam. Alright, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you? Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family if he deems you worthy. Oh, so we won't be able to join the uh, children of Adam. Worthy? What do I have to do to join? There is a ritual his children must perform. If you succeed, you will be rewarded with entrance into our family. Hey, uh... We might get some perks off this, so I'm... Oh, sign, up, sign me up. Uh, okay, sign me up. Excellent. Head to the Nucleus. There, Adam's plans for you will be revealed. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic... I think we're almost there. Uh, a lot of rabs sticking around here. My health damaged. Up ahead, there's no fog. Gady is not too far now. Oh, is that a leader action rifle he's got? I think it is. It's pretty badass. I think we're almost here. Yeah, this looks like the base. Hey there. And we've arrived. A 
Arcadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting. You need my help again. You come see me. Oh, Longfellow's cabin. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> Just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Oh, he's a follower. Nice. Uh, maybe later. Got Nick, and I think he's going to come in handy here. All right. I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. <laughs> You're right. I think he's ill. Anyway, uh, we've completed walking park. All right, let's enter Arcadia. Hopefully, we'll find. Uh, Sue me. If not, looks like we're gonna have to find some more leads. Optional help, Captain Avery. You know. When I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Okay. I don't think he's uh, the same generation synth as Nick. There's, there's some people were debating that this guy, because he was in the trailer, people were saying that he might be generation one. Careful with That's why words. he looks so different. Admirable. Uh, anyway, let's ask him what exactly he is, because he's a synth. You? But I told you. I'm the old synth on the mountain. Oh, yeah, he looks like Nick's face. I know the plastic so skin might be the and tubes same out the back can be unsettling, but I want to ask you to look past that. Oh, he's generation Tell one. Tell me then. why you're here, and I'll try to help you. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really, I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a... ...answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. Give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my oh, life. Oh, please. If you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. You know Nick? Is this a joke? Do you really know Nick? Let me tell you what I know, and you can judge for yourself. We were prototypes, Nick. The first sense capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. 
I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. So he's Nick's brother, technically speaking, because we're both the first two independent things in... Uh, oh. oh no! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, hi, hi Nira. Welcome to the stream. Herself. Hope you're doing well. She came here for answers. None of us take this transition lightly. She memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? I'm human, I'm a synth. Oh, let's be sarcastic, see what happens here. No, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth, but tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? Afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs, holes in someone's memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? I'm human, I'm a synth. Oh, let's be sarcastic, see what happens here. No, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth, but tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? You first. I'm not gonna tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory. In the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down. Operated on. And then... I was out. The Institute has fail-safes to strip memories that could identify where they are, how to find them. But I do remember being quite content. I was free. That is my earliest memory. Now, yours. Okay. Well, I want to say both my fam- I was with my family and, uh... They the bombs fell. before then just a single day and then waking up alone we so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth don't we isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality 
people, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? Uh, yeah, I'll tell him that the Institute's been destroyed. You should know. The Institute has been destroyed. What? It's over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? No. But that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? I'm in the railroad. I'm part of a group that helps since the railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost, I know how frightening it is, the risk of capture, but sacrificing what you are Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? I hadn't thought of that. I'm sorry. So am I. Your heart is in the right place. And it's unfair of me to judge. While I enjoy relative safety from so far away. Was there anything else I can do for you? Uh, yeah, I think that's all I need to know for now. I should get going. Of course. Six minutes. You were in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. Latest news update from the Commonwealth. Okay, uh, I'm ending the stream here to, uh, host someone. Uh, because I'm having technical issues with my controller, and yeah, it's a, it's a first awesome hour of this, so yeah, can't wait to uh, pick up where we uh, left off. So until next time, guys, I've been Lothalord, and I'll see you next time.